So hello you uh, viewers once again and welcome to game 4. Pardon my voice, I am sick. Uh, hopefully get over this ASAP. Really getting exhausted, but anyways I'm going to cast all these games for you. Uh, this is game 4. Rhett's going to be spawning as the blue zerg in the top uh, 12 o'clock position here on Metalopolis. And uh, Naniwa is going to be spawning as the light pink once again at the 9 o'clock or the left hand position. Uh, once again, on Metalopolis. So this is Game 4, SC2Casts.com's uh, King of the Hills Show Match Series. Uh, this is week number 4. And our returning champion, of course, Naniwa, up against Rhett. And uh, big thanks once again to uh, Toss uh, for organizing these events. He is fantastic at getting these players going. Last week we were supposed to have Idra, or Idra, whatever you want to call him, uh, the BM Lord. Love, love Idra. But uh, we were supposed to have him playing, and he unfortunately could not make it last minute as he was traveling to MLG uh, DC. So we actually, uh, and yeah, that was like half hour before the event, I believe. So yeah, quickly, uh, Toss grabbed Moro and salvaged the series. So close spawn distances for these two players. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the games. Uh, pull up the production tab, because I like having that up. And I also like having that up when I'm viewing. I... Because if the caster, caster misses something and the viewers can sometimes see it, the production tab just helps so much. So starting the concave fairly early, but kind of in an awkward position, that's a little bit weird. I think he could have afforded to put it a couple spaces over and still have that blockade. But it looks like he wants to create that uh, famous uh, arc of buildings here to secure his natural expansion. He may be going for a gateway fast expand again. But uh, the drone here is just waiting to find out. Uh, Naniwa is not saving up a lot of minerals. He's using his Corona Boost on his probes. So it looks to be like he's going for an economic build of some sort. Of course, most Protoss players, excuse me, uh, will use their first three Corona Boost on their Nexus almost every time. But uh, that is not the case here. He's Corona Boosting a Zealot out ASAP. He wants to get rid of this drone, I'm thinking. The drone is going to see that Corona Boost being used. That, pro that pylon is... <laughs> Almost lost all of its HP, and somehow that probe just, like, leaped over that uh, drone. Uh, peculiar. But Forge is going down right next to the gateway, and like I said, could have afforded to put this a few steps over. And because that Forge is there, that drone is going to get to see this, and he's going to know that uh, there is no incoming early pressure. Ooh, the Zealot is going to go on his way, and there's already a probe here harassing a drone, but that is going to be it. Um, I don't see... Yes, there's one more... Zealot coming out of the gateway, and oh wow, another one. So maybe throwing a little bit of a wrench here into uh, Rhett's gameplay. Could probably cancel that forge and, I don't know, do something crazy. But anyways, uh, there are two, three Zealots on the way. Third one is still isn't out yet. It's about three quarters of the way done. But it may get a few shots off on this hatchery. Of course, uh, Zealots are very, very uh, effective in twos. And wow, he gets the pylon up before... The pro, or right after the probe dies, but he does have another one here to put up a second one if he chooses to do so. Um, I don't think it's going to be in time, though, because the Zerglings are taking him away, or trying to kill it off ASAP. If he can get a second one up and then a cannon, he'll be in a good position, but one of the Zealots is almost dead. The third one is here. One Zealot gets instantly surrounded. The weak one gets picked off, and now he's probably going to want to cancel this cannon and just get back and play standard. I don't know if that was cancelled. It may have been killed off. It got really low there for a second, but that drone and that zealot are going to be suicided here. One more full health zealot comes in, but uh, nice micro by Rhett just trying to pick off that weak one and getting out of there. So that pylon is going to go down. Creep is already out, so no buildings can be produced there anymore. And Rhett needs to, or sorry, uh, Naniwa needs to retreat and just play standard. Uh, there's a cannon coming up in an awkward position here. Not sure what he's thinking. Maybe he's going to put a pylon here, or maybe he's going to use this as his gap for his zealots or his stalkers. But anyways, um, these zealots still trying to cause damage, just uh, trying to get a few shots before their shields get depleted. I'm stumbling over my words right now. I need a drink. Most important thing to do when you're sick is stay hydrated and eat soup. Mm, soup. So once again, an awkward position here with the cannon. Uh, that is not walled off. As you can see, uh, the probe ran straight through there. Uh, that is not walled off. Units can get between there. And of course, this is not walled off. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't like this. I like when the concave is stretched all the way to this area. Uh, put down a couple more gateways or something. 
uh, put use these pylons up there. But really, wow, one gas, not even saturated, already getting his second gas up. Uh, no gas, no cybernetics core. This is, oh, cybernetics core just got thrown down. But Zerglings are in. They do not have speed. The Zealots should be able to take care of them if they can get back. The fourth one needs to get back here, and they uh, should fight up against the gateways or fight up against a wall if they can. Uh, prevents the Zerglings from getting a surround, and that's when they are effective. Zerglings that do not have a surround are Zerglings that are not effective. And oh, look at this. Roach Warren, who would have thunk it? Uh, Rhett going for roaches once again. Nanny is so sick of roaches, um, but he is going to face some again. Second gateway coming down, no third gateway, no robotics facility. Just main arting some probes over now. If you look at the income tab, uh, Rhett is actually up, up higher on the drone count, mostly because of all of those zealots that Nanny had to produce. He just could not afford to keep probe production up. He's got Chrono Boost on that uh, Nexus, but it was not producing anything. He is now reproducing a probe. Uh, needs to get that out ASAP. He needs to get a couple gas geysers up because if he doesn't, he's going to be very far behind that error of Rhett. A couple of zealots trying to get in and doing some damage. They maybe got one kill, no, three kills. Three drone kills when they had to get out of there. They, that may have even been uh, Zergling kills. Who knows? But the roaches are out, so anything that uh, Naniwa has right now is going to be really bad against the roaches. Even the cannons aren't that good, but the Zerglings do not have speed, so they're going to be virtually useless. Um, but they are going to be able to take out this uh, gateway. Uh, one stalker on the field, the second one being Chrono Boost, another cannon trying to be put down. I would have took my roaches in and just sniped that real quick. Uh, he does cancel it because it <laughs> uh, prevented any entry into his base and the stalker was trapped. Uh, I really don't like this pathway. It's just bad for his units. I don't I think a Stalker can get out between here. I think only Zealots and Probes can. <clears throat> so yeah, Stalkers are forced to go all the way around. The Gateway does go down. That means he's only got two left right now. They are not Warp Gates. Warp Gate is just about finished. That Gateway gets cancelled and rebuilt because uh, when it's getting tacked that much while it's in production, it's just going to spar or finish with so little health that it's really easy to pick off later in the game. But anyways, the third gateway is going back up. Warp gates are done. He transferred two of his warp gates, or sort of gateways into warp gates. And he's now getting an immortal out. So yeah, this is what I like to see against roaches. You need immortals. Uh, people shy away from immortals so much in the early game, but I don't know why. I love immortals. Mmm, immortals. And especially because his zerglings do not have speed upgrade. Uh, they're not going to be very effective at all. Uh, they do need sp speed to get a surround on the units. I don't know, when I'm playing Zerg, that's pretty much like the first thing I get with my 100 gas is Zergling speed. I don't know, it's just so effective at uh, scouting the map and doing any kind of harassment mid, mid to late game or even early game. And uh, while Rhett is getting a little bit ballsy here, taking his third base way over here, um, of course in close spawn positions, Zerg really doesn't have much choice other than that. Um, you do not want to expand here. That You never want to expand towards your opponent, and you never want to take the gold. But because of the creep problems... Wow, is this queen all really going to walk all the way over? That is just crazy. Someone did this in the GSL too. But um, it looks like uh, Naniwa does have an observer out in the field with that immortal. And immortals do one-shot creep tumors. They are armored and structured, so immortals just one-shot them. But uh, not getting enough, getting enough shots off on these roaches, and Rhett actually kind of threw a wrench into Nani's playstyle here, and instantly switched to more Hydra-based army. So these Immortals are not going to be that effective, even though he only has two. Excuse me, two. And for like the third time, that gateway gets killed and or cancelled. And uh, he's going to be in a lot of trouble, because that means he's only on, th well, never mind, four gateways and two more coming up. But being on two base, he needs more units. He does not have the robotics base. We can't pump out any Colossus. He's going to be forced to stick to Immortals, even though there is, like, what, two Roaches? Three Roaches in this army now. And I think the Hydras should be able to just mow over these units. Force Field's going down, trapping, trapping a couple. But since they're on creep, Hydras are very, very fast. And they're very good against Gateway units. But it looks like there's just too many units from Naniwa here. I don't think the Roaches, yes, they do have, or sorry, Hydras do have the attack level 1 upgrade as well as their range upgrade. They clean up some of these units, but they are forced to retreat. So many Overlords out there. Uh, 
Must have been poop and creep because these creep tumors died. And of course, for hydras to be effective, you need creep. I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand more times. Say it a thousand more times. You need creep. But uh, a couple of the hydras are getting taken out. Kind of sloppy play there by Rhett. Needs to just gather his forces up a little bit more. He's producing 16 zerglings, but he doesn't have zergling speed. It is on the way now. I uh, would like to see that happen a lot f earlier in the game. Probably a bad rally point because his units look like they are going a little bit too far. <clears throat> Needs to get another queen out here and produce some more creep tumors. Even though he does have a uh, observer out in the field, I would like to see more creep tumors. Uh, they can get picked off, but uh, it just gives your units such a big advantage. Uh, creep tumors up here on the high ground are going to get taken out. Here is the queen, so like I was saying... Uh, nice job there by Rhett. He's getting an Overseer. I'm not sure what that's for. There are no Dark Templar out in the field. There isn't even a Twilight Council. Robotics Bay is on the way, so Colossi should be in in the near future here. But, uh, I don't know. Nanny is upgraded level 1, Tack upgrade 2, so it's kind of an equivalent... I don't know. I, I can't even... Ugh. I would like to see Corruptors, but he's got no Spire. If the Colossi do get out, they'll be very effective. The Roaches here are cleaning up the units, though. Nice force field for, for blocking out all the Hydras from the Roaches because the Roaches with Glio Reconstitution are so much faster, and the Immortals just clean up those Roaches that were there. There's still quite a few left, but now the Hydras are in the mix. Guardian Shield instantly wears off. Uh, it may have got taken out, warping in a few more units, but there is too many units here for Rhett, uh, for Nanny to deal with, I should say. And it looks like Nanny's going to lose a few more structures. If he can take out this Cybernetics Core, he'll be in a bad position. The Cybernetics Core, no. The shields get depleted, but then the Hydras do retreat. I would have liked to see him sacrifice some of those Hydras and kill off that Cybernetics Core. It would have pretty much halted all production except for uh, the Colossi, Immortals, or Zealots. And it looks like a bunch of Zealots warping in are going to get taken out while they're warping in. Taking extra damage, of course. I don't know how much extra damage, but a little bit extra. And the Roaches and Hydras are being so effective here, but the Colossi is out. It's a, <laughs> just a back-and-forth bout right now. I would think that Rhett is up. He's on four bases compared to Naniwa's two. Uh, Chrono boosting that uh, Thermal Lance right now just really needs to get that out uh, to be effective against those Hydras, because Hydras with their range upgrade are the same range as the Colossi, and you can just focus fire down the Colossi with the Roaches, or with the Hydras. And look at this Overlord spread. I really like this. This is one thing Rhett's been doing for uh, most of his games that I have been seeing lately. And he's, his sight is just phenomenal. He can see the whole map. He's got complete and utter map control right now. There's a pylon here, but it's not going to be too effective. It warped in two zealots. But there is a queen, a roach, and some uh, drones getting in the mix. One zealot goes down. Another one about two, but... It looks like he's pulling all of his army. I do not like this. All of his roaches and hydras are out of um, out of position now. The stalkers are probably going to get a few overlord kills. It's not going to supply lock him. He looks like he's got way too many. There we go. Now it's just his supply is starting to dwindle. But uh, he's at 192 supply, and Nanny was only at 100. I think this is pretty much GG. There is nothing Nanny Wa can do to come back from this. Being on four base to two is is just bad situation to be in against any Zerg. Whether they're better than you or not, it's just, yeah, it's a bad decision. Or a bad game to place to be in. And once again, um, I hate to shy away from the battle here, but I'm sure we know how this is going. Uh, the Nexus here has 100 Chrono Boost, so not Chrono Boosting his Warp Gates as much as he probably could have. Probably could have had more units out. His income, uh, he did have a few extra minerals, but I don't think it would have helped. Uh, Nanny was, uh, he doesn't GG, he TT misclicked twice and leaves the game, so that ties the series up 2-2. Two two. So stay tuned for game 5. <laughs>